क्लास इलेवन अकाउंटेंसी न्यूमरिकल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन्स प्रेजेंटेड बाय एडक्सिट डॉट कॉम इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड ट्रायल बैलेंस एंड रेक्टिफिकेशन ऑफ एरर्स प्रॉब्लम एटीन सोल्यूशन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज एस फॉलोस Rectify the following errors assuming that suspense account was opened. Ascertain the difference in trial balance. A. Depreciation provided on machinery 4000 rupees was not posted to depreciation account. B. Bad debts written off 5000 rupees were not posted to debtors account. C. Discount allowed to a debtor hundred rupees on receiving cash from him was not posted to discount allowed account. D. Goods withdrawn by proprietor for personal use eight hundred rupees were not posted to drawings account. E. Bill receivable for two thousand rupees received from a debtor was not posted to bill receivable account. Before we proceed with the analysis of these errors. Let's first do a small recap. In case of assets or expenses or losses, any increase in any of these should be debited, and any decrease should be credited. Whereas in case of liabilities or capital or revenues or gains, any increase in any of these should be credited, and any decrease should be debited. Most of the errors given in the problem are simply errors of partial omission. So the rectification of these errors would be to post the transaction into the account in which it was omitted. As this kind of transactions are mostly one-sided errors, we will use the suspense account to post the entries on the other side. That will take care of it. With this information at our disposal, let us now proceed with the analysis of each of the errors given in the problem. Let us start with the analysis of the first error. In this case, four thousand rupees of depreciation provided on machinery was not posted to depreciation account. Let's first analyze the original transaction. As you know, depreciation is an operating expense. In this transaction, the machinery is deprecated. In other words, we have to post an operating expense in this transaction. So we should debit the depreciation account with four thousand rupees. At the same time, as the machinery is depreciated, the worth of the machinery will be decreasing. So as the asset value is decreasing in this case, we should credit the machinery account with four thousand rupees. In this case, this transaction was not posted to the depreciation account. This also implies that it was posted to the machinery account. So we don't have to bother about the machinery account. To rectify this error, we need to post four thousand rupees into the depreciation account. As this is one-sided error, the other account that should be created is the suspense account. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let's first write the title as General Recordings to Rectify the Errors. I repeat, this is not just general; it is General Recordings to Rectify the Errors. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, ledger folio, debit amount in rupees, and credit amount in rupees. As the date is not given. Let's just write the serial number in the date column. Let us now enter the depreciation account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text DR to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us now write the debit amount of four thousand rupees in the debit amount column. That completes the recording of the debit entry. Let us now record the credit entry. As you know, the credit entries are recorded by leaving some margin. They also start with two. Let us now write suspense account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of four thousand rupees in the credit amount column. That completes the recording of the credit entry. Let us now enter the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being depreciation provided on machinery. Error rectification recording was not posted to depreciation account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, five thousand rupees of bad debts written off were not posted to debtors account. Let us first analyze the original transaction. As you know, 
bad debts are administrative expenses in this transaction the business is writing off the bad debts in other words the business is incurring bad debts administrative expenses in this transaction so we have to post the administrative expenses in this transaction so we should debit the bad debts account with 5000 rupees at the same time as these bad debts represents the amount that is considered as not recoverable from the debtors the debtors asset of the business will be decreasing so we should create the debtors account with 5000 rupees however there was no entry posted to the debtors account in other words it was posted properly to the bad debts account so we don't have to bother about it to rectify this error we need to create the debtors account with 5000 rupees as this is one sided error the other account that needs to be debited is the suspense account with this analysis at our disposal let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us first write the serial number let us then write the suspense account as the debit entry let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let us then write the debit amount of 5000 rupees in the debit amount column leaving a margin let us record the debtors account as the credit entry let us also record the credit amount of 5000 rupees in the credit amount column let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being bad debts written off error rectification recording was not posted to debtors account let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries with the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us now take up the next error in this case there was 100 rupees of discount allowed to a debtor on receiving cash from him but it was not posted to discount allowed account let us first analyze the original transaction in this transaction there is a discount allowed to a debtor as you know the discount allowed is an expense for the business so we should debit the discount allowed account with 100 rupees at the same time as this discount is allowed to the debtor which implies that the debtor would pay 100 rupees less than what he actually has to pay so the debtor asset of the business is decreasing so we should create the debtor's account with 100 rupees however this was not posted to the discount allowed account in other words it was properly posted to the debtor's account so we don't have to bother about the debtor's account to rectify this error we need to debit the discount allowed account with 100 rupees as this is one sided error the other account that should be created is the suspense account with this analysis at our disposal let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us first write the serial number let us then write discount allowed account as the debit entry let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry let us then write the debit amount of 100 rupees in the debit amount column leaving a margin Let us write the suspense account as the credit entry. Let us then write the credit amount of 100 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of this error rectification entry as being discount allowed to a debtor after receiving cash. Error rectification recording was not posted to discount allowed account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. with the to have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries let us now take up the next error in this case 800 rupees of goods withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use were not posted to the drawings account let us first analyze the original transaction in this transaction the proprietor is withdrawing goods for personal use as you know the drawings reduce the capital and we record all the drawings in the drawings account so we should debit the drawings account with 800 rupees at the same time as there are goods withdrawn in this case goods available with the business will be decreasing as you know when the goods are purchased we debit the purchases account these purchased goods are drawn by the proprietor for personal use in other words this is reducing the goods available in the purchases account so we should create the purchases account with 800 rupees in some cases we deal with the stock account also in which case we create the stock account but here in this case we are just considering the purchases account Now coming back to the problem in this case there was no entry posted to the drawings account this also implies that it was properly posted to the purchases account so we don't have to bother about it to rectify this error we should debit the drawings account with 800 rupees as this is one sided error the other account that should be created is the suspense account
With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write the drawings account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 800 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the suspense account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 800 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being goods withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use, error rectification regarding was not posted to drawings account. Let us now draw a line to mark the completion of generalizing of these entries. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us now take up the next error. In this case, 2000 rupees of bills receivable received from a debtor was not posted to the bills receivable account. Let us first analyze the original transaction. In this transaction, there is a bill receivable received from the debtor. Bills receivable are assets for the business. You will learn more about the bills receivable in the bill of exchange chapter. We have done a small refresher on this when we were discussing the bank reconciliation statement related problems. If you have not watched those videos and not familiar with the concept of bill receivable, for now just assume that it is very similar to a check or demand route which can be converted to cash at a later point of time. Just to be clear, it is not a check but it is something similar to check. So instead of paying cash, the debtor is paying in the form of bills receivable. So we need to debit the bills receivable account with 2000 rupees. At the same time, as the debtor is paying in the form of bills receivable, it reduces the debtor's account. So we should create the debtor's account. However, it was not posted to the bills receivable account. This also implies that it was properly posted to the debtor's account. So we don't have to bother about it. To rectify this error, we should debit the bills receivable account with 2000 rupees. As this is one sided error, the other account that should be created is the suspense account. With this analysis at our disposal, let us now proceed with the generalizing of these error rectification entries. Let us first write the serial number. Let us then write bills receivable account as the debit entry. Let us also write the text dr to indicate that this is a debit entry. Let us then write the debit amount of 2000 rupees in the debit amount column. Leaving a margin, let us record the suspense account as the credit entry. Let us also record the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the credit amount column. Let us then write the narration or description of these error rectification entries as being bills receivable from a debtor, error rectification regarding was not posted to bills receivable account. With that, we have completed the generalizing of these error rectification entries. In fact, we have completed the generalizing of all the error rectification entries. But we are not done yet. This problem requires us to prepare the suspense account and ascertain the amount of difference in the trial balance. Note that the scope of this problem is to just prepare the suspense account. Ideally, even though we have to prepare the other accounts also, we don't prepare them to limit it to the scope of this problem. Let us start with the first journal entry. So this journal entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 4000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particular column is depreciation account. Let us first create the format for suspense account as it is not yet created. Let us first write the title as suspense account. Let us then write the headers dr and cr to designate the debit and credit sides respectively. Let us now have the individual columns for date, particulars, journal folio and amount in rupees on the debit side. Let us have the same columns on the credit side also. Let us first write by depreciation account in the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 4000 rupees in the amount column. With that we have completed the posting of this journal entry into the suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account entry. So this journal entry needs to be posted on the debit side of the suspense account and the debit amount is 5000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is debtor's account. Let us now post this entry into the suspense account. Let us first write debtor's account in the particulars column on the debit side. Let us then write the debit amount of 5000 rupees in the amount column. With that we have completed the posting of this journal entry into the suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account related entry. 
So this journal entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 100 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is discount allowed account. Let us now post this entry into the suspense account. Let us first write discount allowed account into the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 100 rupees in the amount column. With the to have completed the posting of this journal entry into the suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account entry. This journal entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 800 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is drawings account. Let us now post this entry into the suspense account. Let us first write the drawings account in the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 800 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this journal entry into the suspense account. Let us now take up the next suspense account related entry. This journal entry needs to be posted on the credit side of the suspense account and the credit amount is 2000 rupees. Note that the details that need to be posted into the particulars column is bills receivable account. Let us now post this entry into the suspense account. Let us first write bills receivable account in the particulars column on the credit side. Let us then write the credit amount of 2000 rupees in the amount column. With that, we have completed the posting of this general entry into the suspense account. In fact, we have completed the posting of all the suspense account related entries into the suspense account. Let us now find the totals on both the debit and credit sides of the suspense account. The total on the debit side is 5000 rupees. Similarly, the total on the credit side is 6900 rupees. From 6900 rupees, if you subtract 5000 rupees, we get 1900 rupees. This is the credit balance and should be written on the debit side. So let us write to balance carried down into the particulars column on the debit side. Let us then write 1900 rupees in the debit amount column. Now the total on the debit side is 6900 rupees. And the total on the credit side is 6900 rupees. So now the suspense account is balanced. Now this balance carried down will be the difference in trial balance. And this 1900 rupees is the excess credit. With that, we have come to the end of this solution. Thanks for watching. edxit.com is started to promote effective and efficient learning process to help the students with their learning requirements. To watch all our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Also, please click on the bell icon to receive a notification as soon as a new video is published. Please click on the like button if you like this video. Thanks for watching.